recently <laughs> on the big at you. the gentle barn. This is the most dramatic episode ever. <laughs> <laughs> will they paint a cow? Well, you will. And a horse. I see one. Hey guys, welcome back to The Vegan View. So today we are in a little bit of a different setting and that's because we are at The Gentle Barn. Nisha, do you wanna explain The Gentle Barn to our viewers? So, The Gentle Barn is one of my favorite places. For one, they have vegan hot dogs there, but that's what we're doing in this video. <laughs> Gentle Barn is a nonprofit organization. They rescue farm animals or animals that are traditionally used for human consumption and they rehabilitate them and we are at their Santa Clarita location. It is a wonderful place to go. You can go, they're open on Sundays and it's donation based. So you pay up front a certain donation fee and you get to go take pictures of the animals and raise awareness and we're gonna take you guys along. Yeah, Yay! we're excited. That is so cute. So first we're going to see the cows. So there's a little cow barn. They let you brush them, hug them, and they're all adorable. And they're gonna tell us a little more about them. Yay! Yay. Oh, there's a cute dog. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Into a veal crate to sell her his veal. Oh my god. During that time, she got pink eye and conjunctivitis, and because she was intended just to be food, they didn't care about giving her any treatment for it. So, by the time we had rescued her in eight weeks, she was very ill. She was called a downed half that was so sick she couldn't stand up on her own, and she had gone blind because of conjunctivitis. In the very beginning, she would just spend her days spinning in circles because she didn't know she wasn't self so confined. Mm -hmm. A lot of time, let alone, she's 12 years old. Oh. She's been living here most of her life. Wow. She's very sweet. She's very special. She loves to be sung to. She loves to listen to music. Like, all her other senses are super tight, so she's kind of like a super girl. Oh. They tell me that this looks like a Spider-Man mask, and I, said, I like that because she's kind of a yeah. superhero. <laughs> Yeah. I, I want to cry. I want to cry too. I'm emotional. I'm the most excited I've been in a very long time because horses are my favorite animal and we just walked into the horse barn. There's so much beauty to behold just waiting for me. Look at this guy. Hello. My heart, I wish I could explain. My heart is exploding. Hi, honey. Hi. I love your hair. Hello, sweetheart. There we go. Hi. Hi, Whisper. She's so cute. My favorite thing is that you have to ask like where they like to be touched or if they like to be touched and it's like consensual, like because yeah. they're sent sentient yeah. and they have feelings and past relationships with humans yeah. and not all good. And I love that. I know, I love it too. It's sweet. It reminds me of dog rescuing. Yeah. I'm sure you're feeling oh, yeah, that. totally. Because like with, with dogs that you rescue, they all have their little quirks and like it's just like you wouldn't let like a little kid like run up and pet your yeah. dog because you don't know how they're going to react. Yeah. Exactly. So like same with this. Each animal has their own like little quirks. At the General Barn, we believe that we're all the same. We just look different. So yeah, we have different bodies, we have different lifestyles, we have different sounds, but what we believe is that no matter what we seem like on the outside, on the inside, we're all the same. So no matter what kind of animal we are, we all feel happy and sad sometimes. No matter what kind of animal we are, we all have best friends and we all love our families. No matter what kind of animal we are, we all feel scared for the same reasons. And no matter what kind of animal we are, 
We all just want a good life. Anybody agree? Yes. yes. Raise your hand if you think animals can talk. What do you guys think? Do they talk? Yes. Nice. We agree. At the General Barton, we believe that all animals can talk. Now, for some of us, at first listen, it looks like we're so different because some of us moo, and some of us meow, and some of us woof, and some of us talk with human words, so it looks like we're so separate. But there's a universal language that ties us all together, and it's not our sounds. It's when we talk with our bodies. What is that called when we talk with our bodies? Body language. Body language. Excellent. Everybody say body language. Body, body, language. Language. body language. Body language is when we talk with our bodies, and every single animal on the planet does it, including <coughs> us. So I'm going to say something with my body, and you tell me what I'm feeling. Are you guys ready? Yes. Yay! Yay. Yay. I'm happy. Exactly. I'm ex excited. I'm happy. And it was just that simple. Animals are doing that all the time. They're always talking to us with their body language. So what does a dog do to let us know they're really happy to see us? Wag their tails. They wag their tails. They wag their tails. Absolutely. No, it's okay. It's okay. Shut it up. Um, they wag their tails. So as animal lovers, it's our most important job to really listen to animals. Because animals are talking all the time. And there's not enough of us listening. So if we're the ones that love animals, it's our job to focus on their body language, listen to our own instincts and our own hearts, and really hear them so they can be heard and happy too, yes? Yes. And the animals at the General Barn make me a better human being every single day. But the animals in the rest of the world seldom get that chance because they're all too often seen as things we eat and things we wear and things we own and things we can throw away when we don't want them anymore. So at the General Barn, we are working very, very hard to create a more gentle world for all of us, where all animals can be the angels they've come here to be, where all mommies can raise and nurture and keep their babies, no matter what species they are, and where all babies can grow up with family and fun and safety and respect and all the things that we take for granted. But this gentle world is not going to be handed to us. It's not going to come out of a world war. It's not going to come out of a civil war. And it's not going to come out of politics, even though I wish it would. This gentle world is something we have to create for ourselves. So the question becomes, well, how do we do that? The most effective, most efficient, most powerful thing we can do as individuals to create a more gentle world is to go vegan. When one of us adopts a vegan diet, we save over 200 animals every year. That's thousands of animals over the course of all of our lifetimes that we can save. When we all go vegan, we save 1,100 gallons of water a day. The cumulative effect of that will end this drought. When we each go vegan, we save an acre of trees every year, which will combat deforestation and make sure we have a planet to live on. And when we each go vegan, we reduce our own risk of cancer, heart disease, diabetes, high blood pressure, high cholesterol level, and dementia by 90%. We don't need to be this sick. This is needless suffering for us and the animals and our planet. So we just talked to Ellie who is the founder of Gentle Barn and she was telling us about her mission and how she's really really passionate about spreading the gentle message because this place is called the Gentle Barn and so for her she really believes in showing kindness to animals and then also showing kindness to people and by promoting the vegan message in a really kind way and her words were just so moving. Hopefully she'll be on our show, fingers crossed, but I'm just so inspired to what she said is to let your light shine and to let uh, let your actions speak louder than words, so be an, a good example. And it would be so easy for her just to be an angry vegan because she works so closely with animals that it, it would be so easy for her to be an angry vegan and a pushy vegan. And I understand that frustration as well that people feel when they are just super, super angry and super in your face about the vegan message. But she said it so well. She was like, we want a more gentle world. We have to live in a gentle way. That's how we're going to create you know a more attractive vegan community that more people want to be a part of and feel included and overall there will be just a more gentle loving world and we love that approach on the vegan view as you guys know and it's really cool to be in a place that is the living embodiment of that intention she has over 200 animals that she has saved and 
it's incredible what they do here. Some of the healing that they do is like, they do nutrition obviously, and they do all kinds of care and cleaning for the animals, but they also do deep tissue massages and all different kinds of special therapy, even acupuncture for the animals to really help heal their trauma. And some of the animals here have been so traumatized that they can't be touched or only touched in certain places. And it takes years and years for them just to be able to trust humans again. And eventually they do start to warm up and they are right at home here. They're just running around all over the place, living their best life and it's really, really inspiring. So anyway, we're having a really great time. We cannot recommend this place enough. And Ellie, I'm so inspired. Amazing, amazing. I've lost my friends. I was off talking in a corner and now I can't find them. Found a rooster though. Amazing. <sighs> well, that was amazing. So fun. I can't believe I've lived in LA for so long and I've known about the Gentle Barn for so long and I'm, I just now went because honestly that was like I can't wait to go back. I know. It's such a good experience and I feel like, you know, sometimes it feels like you're just fighting for something that's not really there but it's so tangible and like we were talking about how just the emotional bond you have with the beings you're fighting for so much more when you go. So if uh -huh. you do have a chance to go and meet the voiceless animals that we're speaking for, do it. It just makes it so much more real. Yeah. And you think it's real, it's so weird. We were saying this, it's like there's levels of understanding of the ethical side mm -hmm. of the argument. And it's like, as I've been vegan, those levels, it's like I keep hitting those levels and my understanding and my ability to feel compassion is becomes deeper. Mm -hmm. But it's so interesting when you have a day like today where you can feel yourself expanding and becoming mm -hmm. more, even more compassionate and making it even more real. Mm -hmm. It's so special. So if you guys have an opportunity to do that in any way, like even just spend some time with an animal Mm -hmm. in you know in your everyday life yeah it makes a big difference yeah it was really cool to see so many different kinds of animals too in one setting like I was telling them I didn't think I'd never held a chicken before never even really been around them that much except for from like far away and I didn't realize how like dog like they are in a weird way cuddly. like and they're really cuddly and they're really soft and they're really like aware and that was something I think I was in denial of for a really long time, especially before being vegan. So I think it's really cool just to be able to like see them. And, and honestly, I was surprised at how like, I feel like I'm already so connected to the animals, but I felt you even lit up when you, when she, <laughs> someone handed her, um, a, a hen and she, Rebecca, 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 and you just, her face, she just was like, filled with happiness yeah there is mm -hmm. something about like seeing the animals in person that i think is really cool and important yeah. mm -hmm. and there's gentle barns in multiple locations yeah. we will link it in the description box down below so you guys can check it out and, and there's many other animal rescues that are in a bunch of different states um, and places so yeah definitely check out other animal rescues and support we just definitely I have a just a soft spot for gentle barn because yeah. I went there yeah. for like, my birthday a couple years ago and it was like so it was magical awesome. I've been nodding vigorously the whole time you guys have been talking <laughs> it's like, just been the best I know we've yeah. had a really great afternoon so thanks for telling us about the gentle barn oh yeah thanks. genuinely it Happy was a really great day. everyone we hope yeah. you guys enjoyed this video if you are not subscribed to this channel we would love to have you as a subscriber so go ahead hit the subscribe button check out the links in the description box below that's where you'll find out more information about the gentle barn you can find out <laughs> about our individual channels as well as our instagram account and our secret facebook group private facebook group secret. get get yeah get on that because that's a really fun place to meet other vegans and interact and kind of share information like this that there are things like gentle barn and activities to do and stuff like that so we will see you guys in a video very soon bye, bye.